Welcome to the five Great Lakes in Eastern North America. So what's so great about them? Sheer enormity for starters. They hold so much water that if they spilled out over North America, we'd all be waist deep in it. Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world. Its volume is greater than the other four lakes combined, with an additional three Eries thrown in. Add it up, and you have more than one-fifth of the world's fresh water supply. The series of lakes is so long and meandering, a single drop of water entering Lake Superior takes some 300 years to make its way through the system. Water flowing out of Lake Ontario today likely carried the canoes of French fur traders in the late 18th century. The area that drains into the lakes is called the Great Lakes Watershed. Its size is equal to that of the UK and France combined. It spans over 10 degrees of latitude. To walk every inch of the lake's shores is the equivalent of walking halfway around the Earth, about 17,000 kilometers. The Great Lakes are big enough for the moon's gravitational pull to cause tides, though the largest in Lake Michigan is just under five centimeters. But spectacular fluctuations occur on all five lakes. Lake Erie's are the most dramatic as it's the shallowest. Its levels can change by as much as two and a half meters. High winds cause some of the largest waves of any lakes in the world. On Lake Superior, swells can reach as high as a three-story house, hence its status as a story graveyard to lost ships. The worst of the giant waves are wind setups, when violent gusts push water onto dry land. In the 1960s, one such wave came ashore at Salmon Point on Lake Ontario. Witnesses say the swell forced boats to crash through barn roofs a kilometer inland. That's the same force as some tsunamis caused by ocean floor earthquakes. One wonder that results from all this great water is Niagara Falls. About four million liters of water fall every second. In a single day, its gush could fill over 700 billion ice cube trays. That's a lot of ice. Actually, almost 99% of the Great Lakes Basin water is melted ice sheets. During the last ice age, ice three kilometers thick covered central Canada. As the sheets moved southward, they gouged out colossal basins. When the sheets melted away, the meltwater filled the basins. They don't call them great for nothing.